Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to have a, a quick unboxing of the new Tronsmart Presto uh, battery pack here, which supports Type-C fast charging for the Nexus 6P and Nexus 5X at 5 volts and 3 amps. Tronsmart sent me this as a uh, review unit here, just like some other products I have from them. I'm really looking forward to a device that can offer both Quick Charge 3.0 and Type-C fast charging from the same battery pack. I know a lot of other manufacturers, such as Rad Power, have made a battery pack that supports QC uh, 3.0 through the Type-C port, which is incorrect. It goes against the USB standard. So this guy actually reportedly does follow it. So we're gonna have a look at that along with their Type A to C cable here. So I'm gonna quickly open this guy up here. We're gonna have a look and see what Tronsmart has in store for us. Just quickly get this plastic off here. And just so you guys know, this power bank has a uh, 12,000 milliamp hour capacity or 12 amp hours, which should be enough to roughly charge your Nexus 6P three times because you have to account for efficiency losses, but this reportedly has a very high efficiency. So I'm gonna write up my full review and test it out to let you guys know. So inside you have the normal paperwork, which has you know how to contact them if anything is good, bad, all the fun stuff there. And inside we have the power bank. And most likely, usually there's a cable in these guys. We'll see what's included. Yes, it looks like there is a USB type A to C cable here. So that's good news. So we're gonna have a quick look at this battery pack here. As you can see, it is typical Tronsmart with their nice glossy border and matte finished plastic. It does feel very nice. It is pretty small compared to, you know, some other power banks I have here as my Nexus 6P for comparison. It is not a gigantic power bank. It feels nice in your hand. It has a nice, solid, non-creaky build to it. If you have a look here at the bottom, you can see it says, if you guys can see that, it's a 12,000 milliamp hour battery rated at five volts, three amps. You guys can see that right here. And it will charge via Quick Charge 3.0 as well. So the nice thing is the Type-C port that you see here will charge the device and you can also use it to charge your phone. So we're gonna quickly test it out with my Nexus 6P. First, we're gonna use the A to C port here. I'm going to take this little multimeter I have here and plug it into first this port so we can check the A to C port. And if you guys notice on the side, there is a power button to turn it on. So I'm going to, excuse me, quickly turn this guy on. If you can see that there, it's going to give me a baseline reading of what to expect. And it looks like we're at 5.175 volts. I'm going to plug this guy in and I'm going to plug it into my Nexus 6P. So let's see what kind of reading we're getting just to check to make sure the cable was within specification. Let me turn this guy back on. So it looks like it powers off pretty fast. So we're getting exactly about 1.5 amps out of there, 1.35. So that's good. It means the cable is complying as in spec. It's not pulling 2 amps or 2.4 amps like their OnePlus cables that came out back when the phone was released that you know, shouldn't be used because they don't have the... Uh, proper 56k ohm resistor in there. So that cable is good. Now we're going to have a quick look at this type A to C cable here. Let me just quickly open the seal here. And we're going to have a look and see what Tron's going to do with this cable. I do have a lot of type A to C cables. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are bad. But this guy seems very well made. It is a braided cable. If you guys can see that here, it has a nice aluminum finish or aluminum uh, design on the ends here. Very similar to my iOrange cable that I have and I bought a lot earlier on. So both ends are that nice aluminum finish here, which I really appreciate because a lot of cables are made you know, with cheap plastic sometimes. Well, I mean, some companies use better plastic like Tronsmart. I've never had one of their cables break, but it's nice to see a nice high quality cable, especially you know when you're gonna use it to be charging your phone every day, you don't wanna use something that's cheap. So I'm gonna again test this cable and we're gonna see and make sure it's compliant which is obviously what you want to do. You want to make sure you're not using improper cables, just like uh, Benson Long has been doing, testing all the type A to C cables. We're going to have a quick look at that. And it looks like it's pulling 1.5 amps, which is good, 1.35, it looks like, after it stabilizes. So again, it's compliant, which is good to see. I'm going to do a quick uh, test on the type C port for C to C cable, and I'm going to grab one. So I'll be back in just a moment, and we're going to go test that out. All right, so I'm back. I have a... Uh, USB type C to C cable here. I think this one's from another company and I'm gonna plug it in here and we're gonna give the uh, type C port a quick test just to make sure it does actually show up as fast charging like it should. 
I'll do a, a more in-depth test when I actually write my review for this, but we're just going to test it out to see what it actually shows. So I just turned the power bank on, and it looks like it's charging rapidly, which is exactly what you'd expect. You guys can see that right there. So this cable is doing what it's designed to do, which is good. It's charging the phone rapidly, probably at the rated 5 volt 3 amps. Unfortunately, the only way to really test that is using a USB power delivery monitor, which is Type-C to C, and a uh, computer with a Type-C port. So I don't have one of those, but I will do my best to test this and make sure it is actually charging, checking with an amp like Ampere, or an app like Ampere, which isn't as accurate, but, you know, it'll give you a good baseline to go off of. So you guys can uh, look forward to my full review, and I will do another quick rundown on pluses and minuses and you know what you can really expect from this battery versus some of the other ones that I have because I have ones with a similar capacity. I hope you guys enjoy this and you can check the link in the description below for when I write my full review. Thank you.